rice is becoming a problem. Cultivation of the Asian staple is a major source of greenhouse gas emissions. In Southeast Asia, rice cultivation can account for 25 to 33 percent of the region's methane emissions. Vietnam's Mekong Delta accounts for most of the country's rice exports, which crossed 7.7 million tons in 2023. Rice is often grown in flooded fields, which allows bacteria to thrive on decomposing matter, releasing methane, which is more potent than carbon dioxide and warming the climate. Adding to this is the overuse of nitrogen-based fertilizers, leading to nitrous oxide emissions. To address this, Vietnam wants to grow 1 million hectares of low-emission rice by the year 2030. Since 2015, some farmers in Vietnam have tried growing rice using sustainable methods by planting fewer seeds and reducing the use of fertilizer and pesticide. It also means keeping the field alternately wet and dry instead of continuously flooded. Convincing farmers to get on board is no easy task. Lok Trui Group, an agricultural services company, has been trying for the past seven years. It set up 200 model farms covering 1,000 hectares to show farmers what is possible. After they see it, they accept it, they believe it, we give an incentive program for farmers to follow the protocol. At this moment, we give as average $100 for every two hectare or $50 per hectare for farmer if they follow the protocol which can produce low carbon rice. Lottery pays farmers who follow the sustainable rice platform standards higher prices for their rice. It also trains and monitors them with the help of what it calls extension workers. Roughly 3,500 rice farmers are part of their program. Uh, we need to do some training for the farmers. From the action of getting information turned into action, we need an uh, extension worker to help the farmer to do that. Because after the training, the farmer could get information, uh, the farmer could not apply it. Uh, our extension worker will come to the field to help the farmer and to support the farmer to apply the SRB standard. Uh, in some kinds of application, extension worker will work as internal auditor. They monitor, they inspect the field and check whether the farmer do the right thing. Farmers who have taken part in this scheme say it takes some self-restraint to follow through. Mr. Lee Hip Fook, for example, told the Straits Times he was alarmed when he saw a pest caught trip on his plants. But he was advised by Lok Troy staff not to use pesticide. He also had to be vigilant during the harvest season because neighboring farmers would burn their rice double, which is also damaging for the environment. Mình chứ mình tới cái ngày thu hoạch lúa là mình phải cắt nè cắt rồi, rồi kế bên là người ta có có ca đốt gom á thì mình phải phải đi dẹt gom ra để mình giữ cái gom bên của FGB của mình là không cho nó cháy lan. Còn để là mình chôn vùi có cái phần gom đi xuống dưới để làm phần hữu cơ. Rồi mình xịt chi cô á trước khi mình cắt á, là mình xịt chi cô rồi mới chôn vùi gom xuống. These efforts have paid off. Farmers eventually spend less money on fertilizer and pesticide and get more money for their paddy in return. According to Lok Trey, none of the farmers currently using its sustainable methods have dropped out of the scheme. Vietnam hopes thousands more farmers will take the sustainable route in the years to come.